With Declan Rice set to depart West Ham in the summer, West Ham's going to need to look for a new captain. Someone who can be responsible and mature enough as a leader to take over that armband. Having seen the last couple of games, it's become clear to the fan base that one name should definitely be in the running to take over captaincy. That player is Moroccan defender Naya Aguer. Aguer has spent a lot of this season on the sidelines due to an injury that he sustained in pre-season. However, now that he's back at full fitness, he's put in some excellent performances in West Ham's back line. His fearlessness, resilience, strength and commanding force within the back line make him a very good player to have as a centre-back. And I see leadership in him for a couple of reasons. And I'm going to list them in this. Couple generally means two, but I probably do have more than two. Firstly, Aguirre is very intelligent. The proof of that is that he can speak three languages, not including his own mother tongue of Arabic. So if you want to add that, he speaks four. Arabic, French, Spanish, and he has a very good grasp of the English language. In a quote that came out today from Lions Talk, a Moroccan Twitter account that has interviewed Moroccan players and reports on the Moroccan national team, he said that Aguerd spoke about his own teammates. He said that he speaks Arabic with Saeed Ben Rama, he speaks French with Kurt Zuma, he speaks Spanish with Fornals and Lanzini, and he speaks English to the English speakers in the squad. Being able to speak four languages certainly makes you a polyglot. And it's also going to help him to communicate better. It's a very hard thing to speak one language, let alone four. Because you have to go through quite a process in your mind. You have to think what you want to say, translate it in your head and then speak it. It's quite difficult. But for Aguerd, that comes naturally. And as I say, being able to speak four languages and maintain a conversation between different languages certainly shows a great deal of intelligence. Secondly, he keeps the defence compact. A leader keeps his troops, or in West Ham's case, the players, all in line and in order and grounded. Aguer does those things. And he can lead from the back as well. When Aguer was in the defence at the Newcastle game, he was on to players, he was keeping things tidy in his end, and he was nullifying the opposing force. Mark Noble kind of had that role when he was playing for West Ham as a midfielder and jointly as the captain. Noble switched between the attack and the defence with his role. Aguer does that. He's a ball-playing centre-back, so to an extent he's aiding the attack. And he's also keeping things defensively tight. That's what we need to resonate on the pitch. Maybe another reason I can give with Aguerd's captaincy bid is that, well, I think he just knows what it takes to play at a high level. He understands what pressure is. And the pressure of playing in the Premier League has not really been a problem to him. He's taken to the league like a duck to water and despite having a setback he's come in hungry i want to see hunger in our players i want to see players attempting to do something different or to be the best that they can be and i take the best that you can be all day long agued steps it up a level and shows why he's good in his position why he's a competent footballer and why people should listen to him. And that's going to be a big thing. Your captain has to be close to the manager and, re and kind of replicate, or for a more simpler word, echo what the manager's saying. Maybe Rice doesn't do that as effectively as Noble did. But Aguerd, we hope, could do that. The one stumbling block might be, and this is quite a minor, but it could be quite a important thing, 
is that David Moyes can't even pronounce the player's name correctly. He said in a press conference, and I'm doing the facial expression to go with it, Nathan Agard. Make the effort to learn your players' names. And it's not even hard to say Nayef. If you can't say a surname, fair enough. Just say, we want Nayef to be the best he can be. Not, we don't want Nathan Agard to slip up. Nayef Aguirre. Or, ask your player to pronounce it, and I'm sure he'll help you out. Moyes can't be doing that. And it's something I've got to pick a little bone with to end this video. If the manager can't say his own centre-back's name correctly, what hope do we really have? It's a bit disrespectful in my eyes. And I don't like it. In conclusion, Aguerd cost West Ham £30 million, but I'm seeing £30 million of pure brilliance. This is a centre-back who may be targeted by bigger clubs in the next season or two to come. His tackling, ball-playing... And communication in the back line are all good leadership qualities. I see a leader in the defence and someone who can definitely take over from Ogbonna if Ogbonna decides to leave in the summer. But that's okay. Aguerd, I think, is here to stay for a while. And who knows, that armband might be on his arm quicker than we think. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know it was probably a lot shorter than what you expected, but I hope you find it informative and interesting. Again, if you like my videos and you like the stuff that I put on the internet, then please give me a sub and put your thumbs up. It takes a lot of effort for me to make these videos. I say effort, I'm actually in my car and I'm recording it on an iPhone, but it does sometimes take me a lot of effort to put some time into making these videos and good karma is certainly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, everybody, and I hope to see you all very soon.